Water gets inside my car every time it rains. Always has, always will. Where I live, it rains more than half the year, and over the years, I've found water leaking in through the roof antenna, the windshield seal, and through the vapor barriers in all four doors. Every time I fix one leak, another one pops up, especially in the doors, and it can get really bad really fast. When I was in college, I came home on two separate occasions to find the interior of my car full of mold, and one of those times I pulled up the carpet only to find several gallons of water lurking below. So I finally had to admit that if I'm going to park this car outside in the winter, I'm going to have to buy my first car cover. I remembered somebody mentioning custom fit car covers once, so I went searching for one of those. I looked at a few different brands and decided to go with the California Car Cover Company because they use a high quality multi-layer fabric that's designed to be easy on the paint and it looks nice too. The cover I ultimately chose for my car was their Ultra Weave All Weather Outdoor Custom Car Cover, which they rate an 8 out of 10 for rain and snow protection. It has a hydrophobic coating on both sides that make this cover moderately water repellent, and I wasn't sure what that really meant, but at $321.97 shipped, I wasn't willing to purchase anything more expensive, so let's try it out. Before fitting the cover, I washed my car to make sure there wasn't any dirt left, because that could really scratch the paint when the cover starts blowing around in the wind. The cover didn't come with anything to make it fit over the antenna on the roof, so I used a plastic cup, but it wasn't ideal. I'll find a better solution in the future. Following the instructions, it took less than three minutes to install the cover on my first attempt. I really like the custom fit. It just looks nice. Custom pockets for the side view mirrors, along with elastic under the front and the rear, really help to keep the cover in place, even in strong winds, but there are grommets on the sides for tying it down in really bad weather. I chose not to tie it down, but maybe I should have. After the first rain, I could see water beating off the cover in places, but it also looked like it was completely soaked through. The rain didn't let up for a few more weeks, so I left the cover on to see how it would hold up, but the results were pretty disappointing. Once again, the inside of my car was starting to grow mold. I might as well have not covered the car. Actually, it probably would have been better to leave the car uncovered because mold grows much faster in the absence of sunlight. Remember, this California car cover was rated 8 out of 10 for rain and snow resistance. I guess I should have gotten an Oregon car cover. So I emailed the company and asked why my cover was letting water through. The next day I submitted a return request through their website, but after a week I hadn't gotten any response. I emailed them again, but still didn't get a response. Another week later, I called and talked to a really nice lady who let me know that my California car cover was only designed to resist rain for up to two hours, which is probably fine for people who live in Southern California, but not for me. She sent me a return authorization form, which I filled out and returned immediately, but didn't get a response. I emailed her again the following afternoon and was told that customer service was really behind and would get back to me in a couple more days. Two and a half weeks went by and I still didn't get a response, so I sent another email saying I was going to send the cover back to them, file a chargeback with my credit card company, and contact the Better Business Bureau. Three hours later, they sent me a return authorization number. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> so in total, it took about six weeks from my first inquiry about returning the car cover to the time that I actually got a refund. Originally, I thought I would upgrade to a more waterproof cover from the same company, but not after that. Luckily, a family member heard about my car cover issues and suggested another company called Seal Skin Covers. A quick look at their website showed that although these covers are not custom fit to my car, they are 100% waterproof, the one I was looking at had a lifetime warranty, and they were having a sale at the time, so even the price shipped for the most expensive Seal Skin Cover was less than half of what I paid for the California car cover. Sold. When it arrived, I waited for a break in the rain, dried off my car, and installed the new cover. It only took about two minutes to install this one, but I really couldn't tell if it was on the right way until I finished, and even then I wasn't sure, but later I wrote on the front with a sharpie to make it easier for next time. I don't know if I got it on forward or backward. I really can't tell.
this cover looks and feels impermeable to water, but the rain started back up as soon as I was done installing it, so you don't have to take my word for it. Rainbow. Also, I could have sworn this cover was supposed to come with a strap to secure it to the car, but instead it came with some thin nylon rope, a cable, a small combination lock, and some kind of reinforcement patch I'm really not sure what to do with. I left the cover unsecured to see how it would perform in the wind, but it's definitely not as secure as the California car cover, so I had to secure it with the nylon rope, which seemed to help a lot, but I did have to reposition the plastic cup over the antenna a couple times due to very strong winds. I left the cover on for a couple months until the snow passed, but the outside of the cover was still wet, so I hung it up to dry for a couple days, which is easier said than done because of how big it is. Once it was dry, I laid it out on a freshly swept garage floor so I could fold it up, and I was just barely able to get it back into its storage bag, probably because I didn't follow the directions, but I'm not convinced it would have made much of a difference. Fortunately, I only plan on doing this once a year, but it really wasn't that bad. I didn't do it right, but it worked. So in conclusion, here's what I learned about car covers. One, water resistant covers are worthless in persistent rain. Two, custom fit covers are not necessary, but they do look really nice and they fit to the car a lot better. And three, I still hate everything about California. I only got to try out two car covers for this video, but I know there are a lot more options out there, so leave a comment letting us know if you use a car cover, what kind it is, and what you think about it. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. By the way, you can now support the channel by purchasing this awesome design available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and in a bunch of different colors as well. Check for a link in the description below. It's getting out of control. There's some houses right there on the other side of the fence. And the fire is moving in that direction.